Greetings ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and yes you too, the children of the coin. It's the light skinned simmer Ajax here, back with another DCS to Star Citizen video. Today we're going to be trying to attempt to accomplish a mercenary mission. Part of this is going to include some more flying and how that looks and then transitioning from the space flight to ground attack and hopefully we can make it out alive and make a couple extra dollars on top of it. So for all you DCS players out there who are still wondering should I get this I highly recommend it to especially if you like being able to go around and do more than just be stuck in the same area craft or you know if you just want to expand your universe as it is with your simulation but nonetheless let's hop into our persistent universe all right in this wakey wakey eggs and bakey all right so it's time to get on the roll and figure out what it is that we need to do so a little bit of a side note uh, i think i mentioned it before but on my other screen i have a screenshots of what the button controls are for being in flight and being on foot and actually let me show you what that looks like this is an example of it. This is just what I have up. I uh, had the menu screen open and I just uh, did a quick screenshot and just kind of grabbed this. For me, it's good. I can refer back to it because, again, DCS, uh, it's not that many controls, <sighs> mind you, that you have to remember between being on foot and being in the craft. Like, we kind of know secondhand what we got to do, especially for those who fly the high fidelity model. So, this is just something that I keep on hand uh, on my secondary screen to kind of help, you know, help me find my way when I am lost. Alright, time to get out of bed. Time to get to work. Uh, as you may notice, I am wearing different clothing than I did before. I actually found this out in the street and uh, kind of had a little mishap. Uh, if you notice, the uh, scenery in here is a little bit different than the last time we played. Reason being is because I'm on this lovely planet or uh, planet called Crusader at the Orison port if you will and if you look out the window you can see the beauty and majesty that it is and this window view doesn't even do it justice just look at the architecture completely different from area 18 and it's just so well and nice and put together and I would have started here as a newbie but I just hated the fact that I had to go walk you know uh, it just takes so long to get anywhere and actually navigating it if it's your first time you can easily get lost now mind you there are different um things you know to kind of show you the way where you need to go but you have to know where to look to even find those and i'll even show you uh right now we're leaving out of the green uh habitat and this is just you know one of the uh hotels on uh orison and all of that so anyway uh this was one of the planets i was telling you about that was beautiful had a nice scenery however uh it's just so far away it takes so long to get out of atmosphere and so once we get in our craft you'll actually see how long it takes to get out of atmosphere atmosphere and just the how long it takes to get anywhere really and I'm gonna show you some things to be looking for because most of the planets are like this as far as showing you where to go so we'll just go out here and take a look at uh, the area I mean it is nice it's gorgeous it's a floating city and a giant fart ball I mean gas giant and uh, yeah I mean it looks nice now during the daytime it's decent but at night oh my gosh it looks so gorgeous I almost want to make this my primary residence but it's just so far away from the center now what I will say is that um, the moons of Crusader again that's the name of the planet that we're on Crusader uh, the moons here are just very nice and actually before we go to the port uh the shuttles to the port are on the other side of the half so if you ever spawn here you just make a right out of the half like we just did from there make a right go down this way and then you'll continue going and go around this corner and uh, we'll show you that momentarily but first let us go ahead and come around here oh by the way before i forget to mention i rebound my keyboard bindings to get rid of the chat if you for me I hit F3, but regularly it's F12. And if anybody uses Track RR, you know that F12 is how you recenter your tracker, your head tracker. So I just switched that to F3 and went on from there. 
Now this is something I want you all to see. If you're recording the Orison and you get lost, look at these. These signs will tell you just where to go. So trade and development and the Stratus and Voyager Bar are this way. And as you can see, Stratus is this way. Um, there's another port over there. We'll go over there in a little bit to see which one it is. But if you're here looking for, you know, just different things like gear, weaponry, things of that nature. Uh, you know welcome to Strauss so the first floor is actually where you want to go now you can go in and explore the whole area this is an elevator in front of us that takes us up to the bar uh, I mean it's cool if you know that's your part life but uh, for us getting started off we're trying to make money so we need gear we need weapons so if you come here this is the one and all so or all in one so you got your weapons here these are mostly shotguns SMGs and your pistols uh, over here you have different food items clothing items this is gonna one example of armor now if we go over here and look at the shop you'll notice that it's not going to have as much as we did on as far as practical use not as much as we did on uh, area 18 so these are kind of our undersuits these are some of our magazines so it has the basic weapon loadout type stuff but you notice that there is no um, there's no tractor beam there's no multi-tool in here it's just you know weapons and ammo and so that's one reason why I picked area 18 is because we have the actual tractor beams there and that's kind of one of the things that you want to have uh, just to kind of get around um, so yeah we'll get out of this let me check my inventory to see what I even have uh, so I got some ammo there. I got ammo on my belt. Uh, something to note when you go out and arm yourself Make sure your weapon is already readily available uh, Make sure you bring something to drink with you something to eat with you and uh, Of course ammunition. This is in my armor place But I also have five spots around my waist where I can carry ammunition while I'm thinking about it I need health because I haven't been going around with health for a while and I can't remember if this shop has health. I think it does. Let's take a look here and see. We'll scroll down to miscellaneous because that's where you'll find some of that stuff at. And we got food, we got drinks, we got all, oh wait, nope, that's chocolate bar. Mm, scroll, look at that. Holy burrito. Okay, so they don't have anything there that we need. Personal weapons, under armor. All right, so yeah, that's kind of the other reason why I didn't choose Orisons, cause they don't have like the equipment stuff that you need. So we're gonna have to go out to the space station, uh, port uh, Orlison, I believe is that's what it's called. Uh, we're gonna go out there, and that's where we're gonna get the rest of the useful stuff that we need. But that's where you go to if you're just on, if you make this your home, you'll just come in here. And that's where you go to kind of arm yourself up. Um, there's more stuff in here, but don't want to bore you with all those details. I want to uh, make sure I am using you all's time wisely. All right, so as we come out again, those are the signs that I was talking about. Now here, um, when you're on Port Orison, there are different trams. So like in Area 18, there's just one tram to take you to places. Here is a tram station, and each tram station takes you different places. This particular tram would take you to Discovery Tools and Discovery Tools only. However, if we come over here, and by the power and magic of fast forwarding, uh, we're going to go back over there where the hab was, where I was talking to you about before. Over there are some more uh, shuttle ports. And so we'll run over there. Alright, so here again we have more signage, green circle, the green circle's right there, this is where we came out from. Um, here's showroom and transit, so again, good information. Providence platform that'll take you to uh, a different, actually I think that's just a viewing area. But we'll come over here and uh, there's the Crusader showroom, so anytime there's expos you can go in there and purchase ships. And I might come back here once I make enough money, but right now I'm too poor and broke so I need to get to work and do some stuff. So here is where I want to go, the Augustus uh, Spaceport. And no, uh, the tram left without me. Why? Why, Lord? Oh, why? Alright, well, guess we'll wait till he gets back. So with the power and magic of editing, the shuttle will be here the now. The preparing to depart. I won't miss it this time. Please clear the hatch. Right, Shuttle here. will be departing. So, in order to make money and start working, what you want to do is pull up your Moby Glass. Now, your Moby Glass is 
this what's on your wrist and it pretty much projects all of this stuff so I hit F2 and that brought up the map but if you look across the bottom you have different options here and I'm gonna come out of this in a little bit so we can make our stop but you got comm link which is where you would go to to communicate with other people this is where you go when you want to lift off the pad uh, when you have your aircraft vehicle loadout is where you go to to uh, load up your weapon hmm. Apparently, I don't have my Mustang. Why? I don't know. Anyway, uh, Nick Knack, that's where you go to when you are part of an organization, I believe, and there's like objectives and whatnot. Um, or, no, 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 excuse me, excuse me. That's where your stuff is. Like, it's, it lets you know where, what stuff is located where, rather. Um, skyline, or excuse me, this view is just your um, F2 menu. Uh, this is where you can send money to other people again I'm poor in this world but it's okay we're gonna change that by these contracts this little option right here contract manager is where you go to to make that money so first I'm gonna come out of this so I can make our stop but mercenary is where we're gonna be looking at and anytime you do mercenary you always want to do call to arms and then whatever you know thing that you want to do so I think we're going to do this and hope that we don't die Last call for passengers. Uh, we're also going to do to call to arms. So let me come out of that. No, get out before Please I get stuck on here. No. Ooh, that was close. I almost got stuck on here. All right, so now we're back at the spaceport. But now we have to go up here and... Um, Shish, I want to track it. Okay, track it. All right, so this is our objective. Crusader security will get awarded twenty thousand if we do well. Blah blah blah. So this is everything that's going on when you get a contract. Tells you the specifics of what to do, where you need to go, and how you need to do it. Once you track it, it will show up. Uh, hmm, okay. Oh wait, I need to accept that call to arms. All right, so cool. And accept that. All right, cool. So anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, you want to track this so that you can see it on your um, F12 menu. So right now, if I double click on this, um, this highlight just lets us know where the port is. Uh, if I zoom in a little bit more, Port Orison, uh, I think it's BDH is actually where we need to go. Sometimes this thing kind of bugs out and let me get away from here so we can hear better but you will normally see like a high lit square and I can't tell if you can see it but anyway that square is up under there so it just lets um, you track where you need to go so we're going to attempt this mission anytime you go on these mercenary missions make sure you breed loads of ammo I normally bring at least seven to ten magazines you can pick up ammo along the way but always bring some with you especially with these because uh, there's going to be at least 10 enemies that you need to take out so right now we're at the shuttle station and we need to go to Dunlow or uh, yeah Augusta Dunlow spaceport because that's where we're going to get our vehicle I don't know what happened to my Mustang uh, when I looked in that other view it was showing locked so we'll just go and reclaim it again because I'm assuming that it needs to be claimed, which is why I don't have it or I can't make updates to it. Speaking of which, when you go on these missions too, make sure that uh, before you take on any mission like that, that you upgrade your uh, craft. Um, the starter ships come with just two laser cannons, uh, but they can carry up to four laser cannons and I believe two pods. And forgive the loud music in the background, I'm trying to talk over it. But uh, this is just the background music for this location. Each location has its own background music. So we'll go retrieve our vehicle Welcome or see what to happened to it, where it is. And survey says it's stored. Uh, hmm. Area 18? Why is it there? Okay, well, uh, yeah. We're going to file a claim and get it here. I don't know why it's at Area 18. Your insurance claim has been sent. So we got to wait for it to be delivered. I'm going to just come out of this. And yeah, so let's go ahead and check this menu. See where we need to go, if it's even going to show itself. Uh, I'm going to double click it. And yeah, BDH is where we want to go. Port uh, Oiler Sir is the one I was talking about before. We need to go to that station so we can uh, get better weaponry and gear and stuff. So we'll go there. 
man, we got here quick. All right, here we go. I don't know why it glitches like that, but every time I'm far away from it, it doesn't load in all of the uh, shindigs. All right, cool. So we're gonna get here. I'm gonna put my helmet on because I know at Port uh, Orlisser that uh, they don't have a uh, base like this like you actually land on a pad and you're still out in space so you gotta walk in so anyway we're gonna go ahead and start this thing up and we are going to go take a trip to the coast if you will we'll go ahead and contact um the atc to get permission to launch i hit the short key f11 and i get to this chat menu we're clear to launch all right so uh i was talking about before just some of the flying characteristics the throttle quadrant is automatically set to be reversed for reasons i don't understand and don't know why and for some reason my head track is not head tracking so i'm gonna hit the f key so we can look around but if you look here uh, you can't see it but anyway uh, it's going to be in reverse so what I have to do is I'm gonna go ahead this little box is moving up and down that's our speed limiter so I'm gonna just barely move that up and Launch get off the coming. ground I'm gonna hit in to pull up our gear now if I had that up fully we would have shot out this uh, thing and probably would have broke something all right so I need to hit my inverse button that I was talking about before in the uh, our first video and now it's working like a DCS throttle does alright so I'm gonna go ahead and get some speed because we're in atmosphere the same normal aerodynamics are at play so that means that we're gonna have to fly straight level to build up speed because if we start to climb you'll notice how our airspeed starts to decrease notice immediately all right eventually I'm gonna get my head tracking to work and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the B button to put our quantum drive on so we can start calculating I hope we don't fall out of the sky because that'd be terrible all right so we're still in the atmosphere so I can't jump to it right now once we get out of atmosphere, that will turn blue, and then we can make our jump. And we'll wait till we get to atmosphere. We are now, oh my god, we are now back in atmosphere, or we are out of the atmosphere, so now I can jump to the port. Real quick, you notice that that's a square. Some of these are diamonds and circles. Like I mentioned before, the diamonds are orbital points, the circles are planets. The circles with a smaller circle in it is a moon and then squares are actual space stations so we're gonna go ahead and set it up here and prepare to make our jump I'm gonna cut my limiter down so I don't go flying into everything all right got a contact ATC so we'll hit that F11 key I probably don't need to go there but I'm gonna do it just anyway Well, I guess they're ignoring me, but I bet you they gave me a spot to land. Yes, they did. All right, so we're coming in. Uh, the reason why I lowered this down is because you'll come in here pretty fast, and you don't want to crash into anything. Anytime you're getting ready to land, you want to move your box limiter, your speed limiter, uh, to a low setting so that you're not like uh, abruptly moving. And as you can see with that uh, upside down, uh, square is that is where we're supposed to land and you'll see that it is circled by uh, it is circled by an ores box as you can see here so we're getting ready to land and at this point it's like landing a helicopter so I'm gonna throttle down a lot and come in for a nice smooth landing and I'm gonna throttle back some and it's like landing a helicopter. 
All right, so we hit the I key, shut the engines off. Just get into the habit of pressing the I key to shut your engines off. I uh, hope my character put on this helmet. I think we did. So now I'm gonna press and hold the Y key to get out of the cockpit. And we'll go ahead and resume walking. And here are the stairs. Again, more signage. Uh, just get used to signage. It's kind of like DCS where you have to look at the signage to know where to go. So that part's not different. Uh, one trick rule of thumb to know if your helmet is on is to listen to your avatar breathing. If he's bre if you can hear him breathing, that means your helmet is on. If you get ready to go into an airlock and you don't hear yourself breathing, that probably means your helmet's not on. Again, I highly recommend uh, setting a hot key to put your helmet on and off. So I hit the H key and now my character has taken his helmet off and we are good to go. Uh, something to know just as a reminder every time you land somewhere if um, You always want to go in and stow your vehicle. Otherwise if you leave it on the pad too long, they'll impound it And then you got to pay like 20,000 credits to get it out the impound and we ain't got time for that All right, so it's stored we're good All right every time I come in here I get lost but uh um, that's live for your weapons. This is Garrity Defense. This is where you get your um, your gear and stuff at. Over here is where you get your uh, weapons and things of that nature at. So I need to come in here and get some. Hopefully they have uh, healing stuff. If it shows up category miscellaneous heal pin there we go if anybody knows a way to quickly pull this out like some of the experienced people who may be watching this if you know how to pull this out quickly i know if you press c it'll pull out the med pin but i don't know what button you press to pull out the uh, oxy pin so if anybody knows that please drop it in the comments below that would be greatly appreciado oh uh, let me go ahead and equip that or put it on my person again to equip stuff you just double tap double tap and double tap and you'll see how it automatically populated to my leg um, so at the very least to save on money if uh, if nothing else get chest and get leg plates because those have compartments now it probably be smart to get shoulder plates because uh, you know that's just more armor for you uh, I got this boot leg helmet I probably should get a better one to uh, protect my head uh, but uh, yeah, we'll we'll just risk it and uh, hope we don't die. Uh, fingers crossed. All right, cool. It's time to go on this mission. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. I know some of y'all who are experienced at this are like, oh, why do you keep doing that? Well, you should have just left it on the pad. Look, I had to pay twenty thousand one time because I didn't get back over here to store it quick enough. I ain't doing that again. All right, here's our ride, pride, and joy. Uh, like I said, the starship starts off with these two. Uh, repeaters and then I went and bought two more repeaters up there just so I have a little bit more extra survivability or just you know ability to shoot back and do some type of damage I've been in two dog fights and I've won one and a half of them and uh, yeah uh, in the last video I found out that uh, when you eject it's not like DCS uh, when you eject there is no parachute so if you can don't eject in atmosphere also, make sure you're about like 20,000 meters away from the planet before you eject. Otherwise, you just get pulled back in because, you know, gravity and stuff. Alright, so again, from lessons learned, I'm going to go ahead and lower that down. And we are going to take off, pull up our gear. And we are going to... Yeah, see, it didn't save. If you look down... I'm pulling back but it's pushing forward now I'm pushing forward on the actual throttle and it's pulling back but watch this when I hit my inverse button the hand just changed now when I pull back it actually goes back when I push forward it actually goes forward that was that a uh, key button button I was telling you about in the first video so we are going to make our way I'm gonna keep it slow right now cuz I need to plot a course so we're gonna hit the uh, F2 key bring up our star map and hopefully it will show us the way okay there we go 
so if you look here up under there there's a one slash two that is kind of like your waypoints in DCS so we have one of two waypoints I know in the last video I said I didn't know how to get there but uh, that's how you would do that there's the station Orson I really don't want to go there per se but uh, we'll go there anyway because we're trying to get to BWDH all right we're in the armatist zone and we're here in a crime track stat zone so we need to quantum go over there complete. let's see if it'll let us quantum travel now we're inside the atmosphere so it won't let us do it we'll go ahead and bust that up we'll cut that off make sure our weapons are on which they are they were not Weapon systems disabled. they're off so you see that they're red I got a hot switch Weapon where I can cut them on and enabled. off now you gotta wait for them to charge up ship looks cool all right slow it down just a tad all right let's see what we got here so that's where we need to go so I guess we will land up here all right we're gonna sit her down All right, I'm gonna hit the I key. That way my shield stay up just in case somebody comes and try to shoot it. We'll be all right. Now we're on a breathable atmosphere. So I could in theory take this helmet off, but I need some type of head protection. So I'm gonna pull out my gat. I'm gonna reload that back. All right, we ready. They don't see me because this might hurt. Oh dear, they got shot.